Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to Roots TV. Uh, we continue today's show with our uh, wonderful guests and uh, we, are, uh, we are joined here today by um, guests from the Bosnian community, um, Brother Aiden and Brother Said. Uh, Brother Aiden and Brother Said, firstly welcome to the show. It's nice to have you guys on. Good to be on. Thank you. Um, let's start by uh, a brief uh, insight into the Bosnian community. We understand that the uh, uh, Bosnian community have been in Perth for quite some time. Uh, please, uh, Brother Said, can you tell us, uh, Brother Said, can you tell us a bit about it, please? Yes, inshallah. Our uh, first immigrants from Bosnia actually being part of uh, former Yugoslavia. At that time, Bosnia was part of former Yugoslavia Federation, and they came as uh, uh, like skilled workers over here. Uh, some of them came as political immigrants uh, after Second World War, but they've been very, very small in the number. And uh, the first uh, large number of the Bosnian people uh, in Australia actually happened after the, during the war and after the war in Bosnia. It was a result of the aggression of our country, of uh, results of ethnic cleansing uh, and uh, genocide which happened back in '95. And many of Bosnian people actually find refuge here in Australia and we are happy to be here. That's good, I'm happy you guys are here actually, happy you guys made it. Uh, Brother Eden, uh, the, um, the differences between culture and faith um, have come a long way, especially in our times, with the, uh, especially with Muslims nowadays. Um, can you tell us how uh, the Bosnian community integrated with, uh, with this culture and how it's managing? Integration itself is pretty much like any, any other refugees coming in or migrants coming in. Um, Bosnia itself is a European country, so we're very westernized as it is already. So it, it was quite a lot easier, I guess, integration than some of the other. Um, we fit in with different, different sort of uh, skill sets, some from, you know, bricklayers, some from, you know, software architects and many, just like everybody else, really. I don't think there's much of a difference just because we're Bosnian or um, I think us as Muslims, we're taught to, to respect the people around us, be a Muslim or non-Muslim, so it's not really a problem through there. Um, I think naturally we're quite nice people, <laughs> if, if, if I may say so myself. <laughs> so um, so yeah, in integration per se sort of wasn't really that hard. It's In a country like this it's quite easy to sort of um, fit in. You know? oh, sure. That's good, good sure. stuff to hear. Um, I understand you guys, all the Bosnian community is going through um, a new project, which is uh, a new and exciting project, might I add. Um, the uh, Bosnian uh, Community Mosque, uh, which is opening soon. Um, Brother Said, can you tell us a bit about it and um, what challenges you guys had to go through to get, um, to get where you guys at today? Yeah, it was, it was um, I think, maybe the longest application process in, uh, in a WA history. <laughs> I don't know how, what, what kind of obstacles faced uh, other, other uh, projects, but uh, our project is called Swan Valley Mosque and Islamic Center. And we bought the land back in 2006, now it's uh, 2014, eight years ago, and uh, everything was fine, buying the land was no problem, we collected money, money amongst the members of our community, but once we lodged application for a plan approval, then uh, it started the, the problems first with a local resident, then with the local governments, uh, Aboriginal community as well, and uh, yeah, it was a more than five years uh, long process before we finally got approval to go. And now we solved all these uh, administrative uh, obstacles, and uh, in January this year we put uh, concrete slabs and foundation stone for uh, this noble project. Mashallah, sounds very exciting. You guys uh, have a lot, of, a lot on your hands, eh? It is. Um, with, the, with, with the challenges, brother said, if I might add, with these challenges and with the, uh, what you had to overcome, uh, is the mosque prepared and do they have activities and facilities that will provide for non-Muslims as well as the Muslims in the community? Uh, the project, idea for the project itself uh, was based uh, Firstly, for the for the Muslim community, for Bosnian uh, Muslims of WA, and we are running that project. But of course, our doors will be open for everyone, especially for the Muslims, uh, and uh, also for the non-Muslim people. We will provide a library. I think first library that kind uh, that one society will be running uh, will be library uh, with three languages: uh, books in Arabic, uh, English, and Bosnian language. 
and I think it will be opportunity for the non-Muslims uh, to come over and uh, to find the books, uh, whatever their backgrounds, it's uh, English or, or uh, non-English speaking, uh, they, they will find the books and maybe some possible uh, information and knowledge about Islam and Marshall. Islamic history. Marshall, that's good that you guys provide um, these, uh, these, uh, these libraries and access for people who are searching knowledge. Um, yeah. I understand the Swan Valley project is a big one, and I understand that it, you know it requires a lot of capital and a lot of um, a lot of contributions uh, from the community and from others. Um, how are you guys doing this, brother Eden? And how do you guys manage uh, to actually come uh, this way or come come here? Yeah, <laughs> initially um, when we applied to buy the land, it was a drive from the community because we had very little time. We have our own radio, which is on Mondays. Brother Said um, runs that, hosts it. Um, so the community was a very tight community and we chipped in and pretty much bought the land um, outright. Uh, from there, the application process went a number of years before we actually could really. We, we didn't want to start fundraising up until we actually have, had the building license, just in case it didn't fall through then. Obviously all this money, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an amount. Um, so once we actually got the building license, we kept on fundraising through we pushed it through the community as well, trying to increase funds through there. Um, we've, and then tried to reach out to the wider Muslim community. So um, after Juma, you try and do sort of do the, the donation runs. You hold social events, Eid events, and festivals. Um, so all this to accumulate some sort of um, revenue for the actual project. Um, it's it's proved to be a challenging task just because of the sort of the expenses involved in, in the first stage, which we completed in January. We had the foundation stone laid. Um, now we're ready for stage two, which is the, the main part of the project, which is the, the, uh, the mosque itself and, and the ablution centers and everything like that. Um, and we're trying to raise funds for that. Um, we've been sending letters to you know, the embassies all around the world, and they're speaking to parliament themselves, um, trying to sort of gain some connections. Um, as we know, it's proven to be difficult, but inshallah, uh, we'll get there in the end. So inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. looking yeah. forward to this uh, exciting project. Um, lastly, if 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 the, anyone from the community wants to contribute or wants to help or wants to um, kind of volunteer, um, what can they do and how can they reach you guys? Yeah, we are actually easy reachable through our websites, and uh, I think uh, Edin. He is responsible. He is uh, our webmaster, and he is uh, also maintaining our uh, Facebook uh, page and uh, all contact uh, details actually goes through him. He's a secretary of our society. But uh, also somebody who find us and uh, might find our project uh, like challenging one and wants to contribute uh, can do it through many ways. Uh, paying a direct uh, to our bank accounts which are available on our websites uh, and the many brochures we circulated uh, all through the the mosque uh, and the community centers here in WA and also in Eastern States and also somebody can send a check or money order to our uh, postal address uh, and so on shouldn't be any problem and I hope you guys will promote our project Marshall, as well of course <laughs> Rich TV will do everything it can to uh, put the name out there for the Bosnian community and the Muslim community at large, inshallah. Well, there you guys go. You heard it first from the Bosnian community. Uh, thank you, brother Eden and brother Said, for joining us today. It was thank a pleasure you. having you guys on the show. Thank uh, you to for share inviting the, uh, us. Bosnian experience. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Um, we, do, uh, we won't get famous without your subscriptions. Um, and thank you for uh, watching the show.